All right, I wanted to show off my brand new laptop that I got off of a Black Friday sale. So this is the Asus ROG Strix Hero Edition. It's a 15.6 inch gaming laptop, 8th gen Intel Core i5-8300H processor, and it has a GTX 1050Ti 4GB 120Hz display, 8GB DDR4 RAM, 128GB PCIe SSD and a one terabyte Fire CUDA internal drive. All right, so this is a pretty slick uh, laptop here. So I wanted something that was both good for uh, work. So I'm going to be doing some coding on here, um, installing things like uh, SQL Server Management Studio, probably uh, Visual Studio, uh, and then lighter applications like uh, Sublime Text and Visual Studio Code. But I also wanted something that I can use as a gaming system because um, I have a MacBook, but that's not really good for gaming. Um, it can only do up to a certain amount of gaming, so I can do some like a low-end, like a older games or or something more of like an indie title but I can't do any of like the new more modern games on there without um, totally uh, playing on the lowest settings and um, I want to do something a little bit more fun so um, Amazon is showing this guy for about a thousand three hundred right now um, but uh, I got this for seven hundred and seventy dollars on Amazon uh, probably the day before Black Friday so that is a tremendous deal here so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open so we can take a look I have not opened this yet Here is, let me turn this around. So it's a presentation style of a box here. Um, looks like it comes with some soft fabric cloth enclosure surrounding the laptop, which is pretty cool. I can reuse that. And then here is the laptop itself. So it is a glossy finish here. It has a design. There is an actual kind of, let me switch the camera. All right, so this is a glossy uh, cover here. Um, you can feel the emblem is a little etched here. It has this kind of cool, um, I don't know, what would you call this, kind of like a dragon scale kind of design here. Um, there is a slight edge here, so you can feel it, but it's a soft edge. And there's another one here, and then this is just open area here. Um, let's see, ports, it has a couple USBs and a micro SD over here and then on the other side has Ethernet power HDMI some more USBs and a headphone jack there go ahead and open this guy up uh, some more protective sheeting there which is kind of cool I might keep that too so all right, so nice keyboard here, um, same kind of design that was on the front. So you have some speakers here. You have this uh, design with the little edge here. Have this uh, clicky um, trackpad there, and then has full number pad with all the keyboards and and all of that. So um, let me see if this has any power. So let's go ahead and boot this up. So it looks like there's no power right now. I'll get the charger out in a second so we can see it boot up for the first time. See what it looks like. Let's continue going through the box though. So in the middle section here, um, there's nothing in there. It's just a support. And here, some manuals. Um, looks like you have some uh, stickers if you want to stick those on your on your laptop. And what's in here? And oh, that's pretty cool. It comes with like a keychain lanyard kind of thing. So added bonus, you get some uh, swag with your uh, with your purchase. Put all this to the side. All right. Open up the other side. There's nothing in there. And the other side.
side. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So here's our power cable and our brick. I'm put that back. I'm going to just put this back into here. All right, so I'm going to plug this in. All right, I went ahead and gave it a bit of a charge. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Cool. And move it forward so you can see. All right, so this is the first time booting. Uh, let's go ahead and check to see how long this takes. So I'm expecting the first time boot to take a little longer than after we get it all set up. All right, so we have display now. All right, so I went ahead and gave it a full charge and I powered it on one time so that I could do an initial setup that Windows always asks you to do. Um, I powered it down and I'm gonna hit the power button one more time to see how fast this takes to boot up. So that was about nine seconds to get to the, to the prompt screen right there which is pretty good. All right, so here's the laptop. Um, you can see that the keyboard has this nice effect where the colors transition, uh, the, the backlight colors transition. And let me log in here real fast. And there is the display. You can see that's a pretty nice display. The colors are pretty vibrant and it looks pretty cool. Um, I went ahead and looked at the start menu uh, to see if there was a bunch of uh, uh, useless bloatware on there. Um, there is a few things on there that I can probably clean up, but not nothing too, too drastic uh, or cumbersome that I be crazy uh, not to not to delete or whatever so um, overall uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start using this laptop um, install all the development stuff on here that I need and install Steam and get it ready to go and then I'll let you know how it go how I feel about it after using it for about a week or so